We all seen it. We are traumatized by by the Astro Duchess. Oh my! <coughs> that full boom. When he said he simp for a character, I did not think he would mean so literally, like that. Hello, everyone. Elite cameraman here. Hello. Episode seventy six, part two, somehow came out like way earlier than I thought it would, and it was crazy. This episode once again showed us the power of the Astro Toilets, and we witnessed similar devastating scenes just like the ending of episode 74. Yep. Every new episode, Astro somehow manages to surprise us even more, but this time it truly was something else. The new Astro Duchess that was revealed seems like... And also... Brother, ugh, why, why do people, like... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> It, it was like very traumatizing for most people that saw it. She is hella strong, and the lineup Astro Toilets have with their elite members could take on the whole world against them with the Alliance's current state. And I doubt this is the final lineup. It's possible that there are still Astro Toilets that are on a similar level, which we haven't seen yet, alongside the Astro Retainer that's currently getting repaired and upgraded. His comeback probably will be another crazy episode. But that's not all, because this episode actually had some crazy secret stuff happening in the background. As we thought, the chair is back, and this time yeah. it's more than just back the chair actually took action. And you won't believe it when you see it. But before I get into all these, you should like this video and subscribe with notifications on to help me riz up the new Astro Mommy. No. Um, Stop, I mean no. my beloved TV woman. Anyways, here we go. Okay, he has a new uh, to target now. Today because there are a bunch of stuff happening at the same time, and it looks like multiple storylines are progressing at the same time, which I think will be hopping between episodes. It's been two full episodes, and we still haven't seen what happened to Titan Cameraman. And we don't even know if the Alliance is trying to help him at this point, because everyone is already getting their asses kicked. It looks. I mean, it literally did say episode 76, part 2, so of course we're going to stay in the same POV. But like, uh, yeah, I kind of did feel like we might have changed, but then apparently we didn't. So maybe it might be in part three if Duffel Boom is planning to do it like that. If not, then maybe a secret scene in uh, the full episode or, you know, 77. Like the TV man are doing their own thing, which we see at the start of the episode. It starts with the ending of part one, where scientist cameraman shows up. And I kind of did want to see him fight a bit when we saw the ending of part one, but I'm glad we didn't because the tension in this episode was really good. Honestly, the music hit hard. It really was a great choice from Boom. After the first second, the episode instantly starts rolling and we see TV man coming into a scene. And before even anything happens, bro says, forget about them. They're useless in reverse. Here you go. Listen to it in reverse yourself. I guess not this, all of them are caring about us, so that's kind of sad. I mean, <coughs> they are kind of looking out for themselves more, if you think about it. This is not the first time they had abandoned the Alliance the moment they can't do anything. Teleporting so, the dead astro you know. toilet bodies one by one. <coughs> While the Alliance members are struggling with injury. Hold on. I feel like something bad will happen because they are taking the dead bodies. Like, what if, you know, there's some sort of tracker on them? Or they can sense where the dead body is? That would be problematic for their own base. ...and stuck inside the city literally waiting to be saved. But the only people that could save them abandoned them. After the second TV man teleports... We actually see my beloved TV woman looking sad. This was one of the leaked frames I received, and my boo is actually someone who cares. Yeah. She a W for real, but the dumbass TV man next to him says, Stop worrying about this useless trash. In reverse, calling the cameraman around the area trash and teleports away with the dead body. Here you go. Yeah. Listen to it in reverse yourself. It doesn't even end there because when the POV turns back to the last TV man in the area and starts going near him to ask for help, Bro literally uses his TV beam and says, Stay back, fodder. Sample's more important in reverse. Confirming that the secret text which said fodder was indeed said by him and the leaked image we received was the TV man telling off the cameraman. Here you go. Listen to and reverse yourself. Sample's more important. 
This is crazy, bro. Root. These guys are on high horses. Unless these TV men get a grip, I can see their relationship with the Alliance getting weakened, which would definitely cause some problems. It looks like the TV men only care about learning more about the Astros right now, and they probably view anyone besides them as trash. But this theory doesn't hold up as well because later in the video, something happens which shows the exact opposite. After the last TV man teleports away, leaving all the cameraman stranded in a city filled with Astro toilets, we see one, the cameraman looking sad, something more important happens. Whenever the camera turns to the second cameraman that's on the right, we see the chair for the first time in this episode, and it's crazy because you might He's not believe us. me, but if I'm correct and not I missing think. any Is instances, it? we see the chair exactly six times in this episode. Six freaking times, bruh. We'll get there, but I think the chair's affiliation has been confirmed, and I do think that I have two very viable theories. After this scene, we see the POV cameraman turning to his back, where we see the large cameraman putting his portable plasma shield on his arm, while we see the cameraman without arms just standing there on the left. Damn. I feel kind of bad for bro, like the video to send your supports to the armless cameraman. The large cameraman tells the POV to come closer to- Better question, how did he lose both of his arms? And how is he still alive? If by consideration in comparison, Ignore that sound. Show his tablet and what's going on somewhere else. We see the tablet show some coordinates while opening up, even though I don't think these are accurate to what's going on. I think Boom placed this to show us that cameraman can choose locations to watch POVs. Oh. Or they can see where the POVs they are watching are to the exact location. <coughs> this POV shows the large That's TV cool. man holding two big containers with a speaker man Fortnite dancing in each of them. We hear the large TV man say, Come on, imbeciles, before they find us again, in reverse. Here you go. What do you go? Listen to it Pitch like that. in reverse. Yep. This scene is kind of goofy, though. While the large TV man is mad, there is a cameraman literally walking in running speeds and a speaker man Fortnite oui. dancing his way to the container. Oui. Bro is careless on a different level. After he shows this, we see him pointing to a direction, and it probably means that the TV man are saving that some people way. around that place, and they should go there as well. <coughs> it does seem weird. We though. did cross the bridge. Why are the TV man picking and choosing where to save people and where not to? I wonder if they could have saved these cameramen as well if they just wanted to. Yeah, maybe it could require more effort, but couldn't they just keep teleporting back and forth until they get them out of there? Maybe there are still some secrets we don't understand about the teleportation technology and its yeah. limits. Yeah, what if the limits is like way more than we think? Like, you know, we just guess, guess, guess and just think it's almost limitless. With only like one or two restrictions, but maybe there's a lot more that we don't know about. And depending for like size, weight, you know, stuff like that, maybe. We also haven't really seen Speakerman lately, but when I asked Boom about the Speakerman headquarters, he did tell me that he knows exactly which episode we'll be seeing it, so it's possible that we might okay. get to start seeing them more soon. This okay, last couple episodes has been very focused on the cameraman and their journey with the Astro's arrival. After the large cameraman points ahead, the POV looks at it, and we don't see much because of all the smoke, but it seems like they have to cross the bridge to get there. We also ah. see the plant on the left one last time. I couldn't see the plant again later in the episode, and it might be possible that the plant didn't mean anything at all, even though I highly doubt it. Even with the chair, what right the after the episode aired, State the DM'd Boom saying, Chair, tell me something about that damn chair. Which Boom responded with, There are chairs in part two. And Stake asked, Do they have any significance to the plot? Which thumbs Boom up. answered with the thumbs up emoji. But what did he mean when he said chairs, as in multiple chairs? Yes, there are multiple instances where the chair shows up, but are they actually different chairs? Or the same chair going around? Right after the POV the turns heck? back, we see a toilet drifting his way to the cameraman. And I gotta say, bro, is colder than Antarctica. Holy moly, the drip. Yo, and there's one reinforcement. towards the armless cameraman, and bro literally yeets him on top of the toilet before getting up himself and carrying the other two cameramen on top as well. But right at, at least he knows that we need a hustle cause we're not safe. We need to go quick. This scene, the craziness begins not just the action, but if you look closely at the chair on the back when the POV cameraman is holding those two cameramen, 
you can literally see the chair moving on its own once again. Well, which yeah, is it just was. the beginning. Also, large uh -huh. cameramen are so strong, bruh. There ain't no way bro held those two cameramen as if they are water bottles and just put them on the toilet. You can't see the silhouette. But yeah, their see, plan moved. doesn't go well even for a couple seconds. And before they can even more astro toilets find them and start shooting their lasers at them. They instantly start moving after the reinforcement large cameraman and the strider scientist cameraman start distracting the astro yes, toilets. Yes, nice. But as you can guess, there yeah, are get more out. astros chasing them. The POV cameraman uses the astro gun he stole against the astro troops. And it seems effective since nice. it's their own technology. They kill one astro troop and damage another one heavily before getting onto the bridge, which right when they get on it, a cameraman literally flies onto their toilet. I don't know how that even happened, but bro came flying in and somehow got saved for now at least. The second craziest yeah. thing happens right here in the episode. When the damaged astro troop shows up... Wait, what if... Uh, it's somehow the cameraman that got launched. I don't know. Like, in the part one, remember, there was a cameraman that got launched. Is this somehow the same cameraman? But it took longer time, so how did it... St how did the cameraman stay flying? I am so confused. Up ...and starts shooting his lasers. The POV shoots back, but misses, and what is that? A green light hits the astro toilet, causing it to get knocked away. But what was it? The first thing we think of when we see the green light is the secret agent. Yeah. And you might think that he fired a laser beam, but you'd be wrong because if we keep watching, we see this green light hit the astro troop once more. And this time, if you pause at the right moment, you can clearly see that it's the freaking chair. What? Yay, baby. The chair glazers on top. We were right all along, bro. How? How? We continue, what exactly is How? This? I think with this, its affiliation with the secret agent has been confirmed. And the only thing missing yeah, right now is us seeing the chair and the secret agent in the same frame at the same time. Because if we don't, it probably means that the secret agent might be using the chair as some sort of a weapon. Just like how Plunger Camera... Or maybe he, he's like using it as a disguise or like an outer shell, exoskeleton, shield, co clone, puppet, whatever. And at the glitch toilet. But what if the chair is its own entity? How is it affiliated with the secret agent? I think the main ongoing theory has been the shapeshifter theory. Everyone thinks that the chair is a computer that can shapeshift, and the computer race's special power is basically shapeshifting. This hasn't been confirmed, but if that's the case, why are they with the secret agent? Have they always been? As you guys know, each race has yeah, its own color, just probably? like how cameraman use blue energy. And speaker uh -huh. man use red energy or yep. TV man use purple energy. Yeah. What if secret agent never had his own green energy and he was using computer man's green energy all along? Damn. You guys might remember in episode 70, we saw the mint cameraman. They were the ones that looked at plunger cameraman while he was dying and they had greenish clothes and their cameras could glow green. But something was really off with them. They did not act like cameraman at all. What if they were not cameraman ever? What if those mint cameramen we saw were shapeshifters that turned into cameramen? This might be stretching oh. it too far, but what if the way they turns in... Now, I don't think it's stretching too far. It kind of would make sense if it was to be true. ...possible is shapeshifting into air. <coughs> I also don't think he has double agents that are shapeshifters in the Alliance, if that's the case, because from what we've seen, their mannerisms are way different to get unnoticed. Yeah. It'll be Maybe it's like differently trained one, you know? Like, he made his own version of a cameraman. Not sure how the ones that already here are made, but maybe he somehow, like... Remember, like, the first time we see the secret agent, he stole, like, he, the head of the cameraman. We still had no idea what he was using it for. Maybe to get footage. That's what usually people would say. But what if it's to learn and design his own cameraman? To, you know, infiltrate it. It's really our interesting base. to see how this plays out and to learn the secrets behind the chairs. We actually see the chair two more times and the next one is right after the bridge scene. As they get on the other side, we can see the chair just standing on the left side. But after the POV the? gets shot and the toilet <laughs> thereon gets destroyed with a cameraman next to him being stuck accepting their fate. The second the POV turns back, the chair is no longer there. That astral oh, toilet looks no. tough though. Bro's firepower is oh, on a hell no. 
and because of this, the cameraman instantly start running the other way. It was kind of sad, though. That toilet that just died had the rizziest look and blood drifted into the scene to save everyone. And dying and the just reinforcement. like that. I think the Scabidis have slowly been redeeming themselves somewhat from what they've done all this time. Another toilet at the end of this episode pushes this idea even more, but we'll get to that later in the video. At this moment, we know that everyone is cooked because they had to go to the other nah, side of- No, nah, they're beyond cooked. They are baked. No, nah, beyond that, they're deep fried. Deep fried, you hear me? Not even cooked, they're deep fried. The city, but the road is blocked by a huge astro toilet. And not just that, but they can't even go back now because the astro toilet destroys the bridge seconds later. But what's that? If you pause the video at the right frame, Check? you can actually see the chair appearing for one last time in this episode. It's pretty huh? clear when the explosion happens, but if we roll back just a second and watch, you can see the chair flying there from the left. This chair, bro, I need to know what it is as soon as possible. And after <coughs> this, literally from Man. the after affect of the explosion, the POV falls down and glitches for a couple seconds. This leads to the POV cameraman focusing on his surroundings after getting up, and once again, we see some sort of a sad scene. The cameraman are literally about to piss themselves, and they know they can't even hide because from what we know, Astros do have X-ray technology that allows them to see behind everything. Yeah. After the Either X-ray or heat sensors, we're not too sure. Astro like entirely, camp. maybe should both. Have known it was over yesterday for them. We also get a good look at the Astro toilet that destroyed the bridge, and it's apparently a strider like Astro with pretty unique design. The second he comes in, everyone starts running towards the forest, but it doesn't last long. He looks like some sort of drill. Wait, what? As another strider like Astro shows up out of nowhere alongside another Astro, and that's uh -oh. not even all. Seeing this, the mutant toilet literally drops his gun, closes his eyes, and takes a big breath, finally accepting his fate. But before I talk about the crazy things that happened right after, look at the window on the left. If you watched my leaks video, oh, you've already seen this, but secret. the secret agent is watching this scene. Yo. We don't know if it's because the character boom simps for shows up a second later, or if secret agent is actually there to see what's going on, but the fact that he is there and the chair is not is definitely weird. There are only two possibilities. The secret agent either uses the chair himself, or boom is not showing them at the same time intentionally to trick us. But the real twist of the episode happens right after. The mutant toilet suddenly gets pulled by a force, and as the POV cameraman turns to his right, we see what this force is. Hold on. The therapy session will begin after this video, but the incident, because of it, yeah, is here. It's soon. It's the Astro Duchess, as Boom calls her. This Astro is from what we know the only female in the Astro army, and she seems powerful. We don't know how powerful she is yet. But I doubt she is the strongest, because if you think about the female agents of the Alliance, even though they are pretty strong, they would fall right below or on the same power level as the elite agents like Plunger Cameraman. Yeah. But none of them can reach the same power levels as the Titans. Or for example, TV Woman definitely is not as strong as TV Daddy. This probably Yo, is chill. the same case for Astro Duchess. And it looks like the core thingy we saw definitely wasn't a core. And as I guessed, it was the weapon she uses, ah. and there isn't just one, but four. It Damn. seems like they are like tentacles yeah, and can would be they? used in many different ways, which I'll talk about as we see the powers of it. The first yeah. power we see is either some magnet-like thing or some gravitational manipulation. And it doesn't end with just pulling the mutant toilet into her hands, but she doesn't stop and it causes the mutant toilet become a boulder of some sorts, killing him instantly. He just squished him. She also pulls the cameraman just next squished to the him. POV, but this time she doesn't instantly kill the cameraman, but stops him right before he gets squashed as well. At this exact moment, a brave toilet attacks the Astro Duchess even in this situation, but Saldi, she doesn't even flinch and pulls the toilet and does something insane. She Use uses them? some sort of fire slash laser power and it literally demolishes both of them instantly, leaving nothing but some particles. Seeing this, the POV cameraman tries to attack her, but at this point it's no use. She uses her force to stop the laser beam and also uses her force to steal POV's gun, literally toying with him. From what we can see, she also absorbs the laser bayo, but we don't know if she just dismantled it or actually absorbed the power of it. After this, she starts pulling POV's body, and as you can imagine, she doesn't stop there. But before we get to that, we finally get a very close-up look at her face. 
boom definitely did put some extra effort into this model compared to most other faces yeah we also can see some marks the first thing we noticed is the one on her forehead <coughs> we already did learn that astros had markings but it's still unclear what they mean since the two markings we saw until and now and the one on her chin but it's theorized that the markings show their ranks she also has some marks under her mouth which look like scars and a tattoo we don't know if those are stitches for the scars but if they are I wonder how she got something like that because that'd require her to open her mouth in a very crazy way. It's also not that visible, but if you look at the left side of her face, under the hair, you can see that she also has some other markings that are like dots. If I'm honest, I think it'll be a while until we learn what, what these markings mean. After this, we see the POV flip off the Astro Duchess while she actually reacts to it. And as you can imagine, it wasn't a good reaction. She starts by pulling apart his left arm and continues with the right arm. And this uh. is where things start getting freaky. She starts pulling apart his lower body and blood starts busting. I think we were all a little shocked in this scene. Bro literally folded while dying. I'll never forget this cameraman. About this scene. <laughs> I'm actually curious. What the frick is that liquid? There is something that I have to tell you guys, though. I did ask Boom about it, and he actually told me that this was an accident. And as you can guess, what this is actually what it seems like. He told me that it was supposed to be an oily, slightly yellowish liquid. But I guess the render engine's intrusive thoughts won, and it was changed. It might have been because of the lighting, but Boom did tell me that he'll be changing the color of this in the full episode. Okay, good. Okay. Right now. Good. <laughs> because, uh... <laughs> Everyone was like, what the heck? It did look really funny, though. Happy little accident, I hey, guess. Hey, yo. I can definitely relate to the POV cameraman anyway. Of course, of course. After this, we actually hear the Astro Duchess say, Skibidi. And in the subtitles, Boom put a straight face as well, and it fits her reaction pretty well. She literally looks emotionless. Also, if you look carefully, you can literally see that she is wearing a choker. I wonder if this is like a fashion choice from her, or is this more like a leash to control her? Damn. Either way, the episode doesn't end here because a guy. Why do all the all the Astros have like weird, weird designs? Damn damaged toilet shows up out of nowhere <coughs> and starts attacking the Astro Duchess just to get violated by the Astro Duchess. She shows that she can open a plasma shield, and this is unknown. But it seemed like she could open this from oh. any direction and not. This toilet is a Chad for real, though. They never stop fighting, bruh. These toilets have more dedication than the Alliance right now, if you think about it. Oh, yeah. Everyone from the Alliance is trying to escape while toilets are attacking relentlessly to at least give a try. It is stupid, but still, I think the team up will be crazy good in the later episodes because of this trait of the toilets. And this toilet probably gets one of the most horrible deaths. The yeah. second he attacks, we can see that Astro Duchess's crown starts spinning, more probably charging her powers. And we learn that her tentacles can shoot full on lasers. And not just that, but her laser eyes are crazy powerful. Her power output is actually Ooh. insane. She literally removed every single atom from the head of that toilet. After this, she goes back to her emotionless state right before the UFO toilet comes in, speaking some nonsense in Skibidi language. I don't know what the UFO told him, but the Astro Duchess agreed to it, and it seems like they are planning something devious. It is possible that we might see her again soon. After the UFO toilet leaves and the POV cameraman is laying on the ground waiting to die, the Astro Duchess literally blinks at him and rizzes him up before zooming out of the area. Oh, hey, look, she... Yo, she tucks the, the like, tentacles behind her back. Is cooked. That's kind of cool. We'll be on cook, guys. With deep fried. 